the announcement of the Optimus Gen 4 marked a watershed moment, not only for Tesla, but also for the entire humanoid robotics industry. Until then, Elon Musk's company had been showcasing futuristic prototypes that sparked curiosity, but still seemed far from market reality. With the presentation of the new generation, this perception changed. The event symbolized the beginning of a transition. Tesla stopped showcasing technological experiments and began demonstrating a product that is approaching concrete, commercial applications. The setting chosen for this reveal wasn't random. Elon Musk, aware of the symbolic power of his actions, chose to conduct the demonstration directly to Mark Benioff, CEO of Salesforce. This detail carries profound strategic significance. Presenting the robot to a business leader who represents both innovation and the future of corporate automation. It was a powerful move that clearly demonstrated who Tesla wants to impress and win over. Throughout the presentation, it became clear that the Optimus Gen 4 was not a simple incremental evolution. What was being demonstrated was a qualitative transformation in several crucial aspects. From the mechanical components to the artificial intelligence systems, everything seemed to have been rethought. Tesla sought to correct weaknesses of previous versions and transform long-standing weaknesses into significant competitive advantages. One of the most notable features was the redesigned joints. In previous generations, these areas had been the target of constant criticism, particularly due to their fragility, accelerated wear, and functional limitations. Now Tesla demonstrated that it had learned from its mistakes. The Gen 4 featured completely redesigned joints, protected by lightweight yet extremely durable composite housings. This solution not only made the system more robust, but also eliminated the problem of exposed parts accumulating dust and suffering premature wear. With the new architecture, shoulders, elbows, and wrists gained greater durability and efficiency. Estimates indicate that Optimus's arms can withstand up to 200,000 complete movement cycles before needing replacement, putting it on par with industrial robots from established brands. This durability brings Tesla closer to industrial robotics giants like ABB and KUKA, which have dominated the market for decades. The decision to invest in robust components demonstrates that Musk isn't just looking to create a futuristic robot, but rather an economically viable machine for the corporate world. After all, there's no point in having an innovative design if maintenance costs make it unfeasible to operate on a large scale. Another notable feature was the precision of the movements. While previous versions of Optimus struggled to perform tasks accurately, Gen 4 achieved error margins of less than 2 millimeters. This achievement opens the door to applications in sectors that require delicacy and absolute precision, such as handling fragile objects, assembling complex components, and even medical and laboratory applications. Balance has also undergone a fundamental transformation. Tesla managed to lower the robot's center of gravity while integrating artificial intelligence-based dynamic control algorithms. As a result, Optimus can walk on surfaces inclined up to 15 degrees without losing stability. This feat has great practical value, as industrial environments rarely offer perfectly flat floors. The Gen 4's gait also increasingly approximates human pace. Thanks to the new foot structure, with an expanded contact area and reinforced grip, the robot can reach speeds of up to 5 km h. This speed is crucial in logistics operations, as it ensures efficiency without compromising the natural interaction with human workers. This way, the robot becomes not a hindrance, but an active collaborator. In terms of weight, Tesla has achieved another important milestone. The Optimus now weighs less than 55 kilograms, thanks to the use of aluminum-magnesium alloys and ultralight composites. This reduction of approximately 10 kilograms compared to the previous model has resulted in direct gains in energy efficiency and range. For a technology aiming for widespread use, every kilogram shed represents significant energy savings. Autonomy, in fact, was one of the most celebrated highlights. The Gen 4 is capable of operating between 6 and 8 continuous hours on a single charge, covering a full work shift. More impressive than the battery capacity, however, is the intelligent energy management system. Using artificial intelligence, the robot optimizes its consumption, reducing costs during rest periods or low-demand tasks. This level of energy efficiency reinforces the idea that Optimus is no longer just a technology demonstrator. It was designed for the operational reality of companies.
In a corporate environment, where interruptions for recharging entail additional costs, the ability to work an entire shift without breaks represents a huge competitive advantage. Visual design wasn't neglected either. Tesla understood that a robot's social acceptance is as important as its technical performance. The new Optimus features more rounded shapes, balanced proportions, and a humanized aesthetic. The goal is to avoid a cold, intimidating appearance that could generate resistance among users. This strategic decision increases the robot's chances of being accepted in hospitals, offices, and even homes. The Gen 4's sensors also mark significant advancements. Equipped with high-resolution cameras, force sensors, and short-range radar, the robot achieves 98% accuracy in object recognition. Even more impressive is its response speed to human stimuli, between 50 and 100 milliseconds. This level of agility ensures safe and efficient interactions in shared environments. By prioritizing safety, Tesla anticipated recurring criticism about the risks of humanoid robots operating alongside people. The ability to detect unexpected movements and react almost instantly is essential to preventing accidents. This characteristic becomes especially relevant in areas such as healthcare and customer service, where trust is essential. Another aspect that stood out was the system's modularity. The Gen 4 was designed so that arms, legs, and sensor modules can be easily replaced. This solution reduces downtime in the event of failure and increases the robot's adaptability for a variety of uses from heavy-duty industrial applications to lighter tasks in home or office environments. Musk's own strategy in presenting the Gen 4 in a business context reflects a clear vision. It's not just about building a futuristic robot, but about demonstrating that Tesla is ready to compete in a market valued at billions of dollars. Humanoid robotics, once seen as a distant promise, is beginning to consolidate itself as a concrete tool for the economy. While competitors like Agility Robotics focus their efforts on specific niches, such as logistics and freight transportation, Tesla is betting on a multi-purpose robot. The Optimus Gen 4 is designed to work in a variety of sectors, from factories to hospitals, warehouses, and even homes. This is a bold strategy, but if successful, it could position the company as an undisputed leader in the humanoid robotics market. The Gen 4's mechanical robustness, combined with its user-friendly design and energy efficiency, transforms the robot into a viable commercial product. It goes beyond being a mere technological showcase to become a practical solution. Its ability to tackle real-world tasks, such as labor shortages in certain sectors or the need for large-scale automation, is the project's true strategic leap. Looking at Tesla's trajectory with its electric vehicles, it's possible to see a parallel with the development of Optimus. Initially seen as bold experiments, Tesla's cars became a global benchmark and transformed the entire automotive industry. Something similar could now happen with humanoid robotics, driven by Elon Musk's same bold vision. The tech community's reaction to Gen 4 was a mix of surprise and skepticism. Surprise because Tesla has achieved significant advances in a short period of time, while competitors take years to achieve similar results. Skepticism because there are still doubts about the company's ability to produce these robots on an industrial scale while maintaining quality and competitive costs. The impact of the joint redesign should not be underestimated. In previous generations, this area represented a critical limitation, restricting the robot's applicability in real-world environments. Now, with durable composite materials and motion cycles comparable to industrial standards, Tesla has addressed one of the main criticisms, increasing confidence in the product. In addition to durability, the smooth movement provided by the new joints gives Optimus an almost human-like fluidity. This makes interactions more natural and reduces the discomfort many people experience when handling robots. Seemingly simple details, such as the length of the arm or the way the hand holds an object, are crucial to the technology's social acceptance. The Gen 4's dynamic balance also stands out. The ability to remain stable on inclined surfaces is crucial to its functionality in uncontrolled environments. Laboratories may offer ideal conditions, but the real world is unpredictable. Walking over uneven terrain without compromising performance significantly expands the robot's application possibilities. The robot's near-human speed opens up new opportunities. Slow robots become impractical in operations that require a constant pace, such as warehouses and production lines. Optimus keeps pace with humans, ensuring it doesn't become a bottleneck, but rather an efficient collaborator. 
This synchronization is essential for human-machine cooperation. From an energy perspective, the six to eight hour battery life positions the Gen 4 strategically. Few companies would be willing to invest in robots that require recharging every few hours. Covering a full shift, Optimus adapts naturally to corporate routines without requiring significant changes to existing infrastructure. This practicality is a key factor for widespread adoption. The Intelligent Energy Management System highlights Tesla's battery expertise developed in electric vehicles. Applying this knowledge to humanoid robotics demonstrates the synergy between different areas of the company. This use of already mastered technologies accelerates the learning curve and strengthens Tesla's competitive advantage over other players in the sector. In the area of perception, the combination of high-resolution sensors and recognition algorithms has raised accuracy to impressive levels. With 98% accuracy, Optimus can differentiate objects and react quickly to stimuli. This capability reduces errors, increases safety, and improves efficiency. Essential requirements for robots operating in human-inhabited environments. The response speed, less than a tenth of a second, is another crucial factor. This agility allows the robot to halt a movement when detecting an unexpected obstacle or adjust its trajectory in response to human interaction. This reactivity ensures that Optimus operates alongside people without posing an imminent risk, a key factor in acceptance and trust. Humanized design, in turn, plays a strategic role. Tesla understood that intimidating-looking robots face social resistance. Rounded shapes and proportions that gently evoke the human figure facilitate psychological acceptance of the machine. This aesthetic care is not only visual, but also a market differentiator, reinforcing the robot's integration into everyday life. In sectors like healthcare, a user-friendly appearance can determine whether a technology is accepted or rejected. Patients tend to feel more comfortable with machines that convey visual empathy. Optimus Gen 4, therefore, goes beyond engineering. It's also a social design project, designed to facilitate coexistence with human beings. The robot's modularity is also noteworthy, allowing for the replacement of arm sensors or other modules without disassembling the entire structure, reduces costs and downtime. Furthermore, this feature allows companies to adapt the robot to different tasks relatively easily, increasing its versatility and commercial value. Musk's decision to present the robot directly to business leaders was strategic. A private demonstration conveys the message that Optimus is not just a futuristic idea, but a market-ready tool. This approach brings Tesla closer to commercial viability and reinforces its image as an innovative and practical company. Compared to its competitors, the Optimus Gen 4 stands out for its combination of attributes. While other companies focus on specific aspects, such as locomotion or object manipulation, Tesla seeks a balance between mechanical robustness energy efficiency, social design, and perceptive intelligence. This comprehensive package could be the difference needed to transform the humanoid into a marketable product. Still, challenges remain. Producing thousands of units with consistent quality is an obstacle that even Tesla cannot ignore. The transition from laboratory to industrial production requires fine-tuning and significant logistical capacity. The experience gained with electric cars will be useful but humanoid robotics presents additional complexities that will need to be overcome. The final price is also unknown. It's unclear how much Tesla intends to charge for each Optimus unit. Cost will be crucial for the technology's widespread adoption. Very high prices would restrict its use to large corporations, while more affordable prices could open doors to hospitals, schools, and even homes, democratizing access to humanoid automation. Musk's vision goes beyond immediate price. For him, humanoid robots are central components of a future economy, where repetitive, low-value-added tasks will be automated. This transformation promises to redefine the job market, creating new roles and eliminating others. Optimus Gen 4 is just the starting point of this process of structural change. The potential industrial impact is enormous. Imagine factories where humanoids work side-by-side -side with humans, performing heavy or dangerous tasks without interruption or hospitals where they assist nurses with repetitive routines, freeing up time for complex care. This is the vision Tesla seeks to realize, transforming futuristic promises into practical solutions. The humanoid robotics market, once confined to science fiction, is beginning to consolidate. Projections indicate a growing billion-dollar sector, 
driven by demand for automation and labor shortages in strategic areas. If Tesla can sustainably produce Optimus, it could capture a significant share of this emerging market. From a cultural and ethical perspective, the introduction of humanoid robots raises important questions. What will everyday life be like with machines that look like us? To what extent are we willing to delegate essential functions to artificial beings? Tesla, by adopting a user-friendly design and clearly communicating safety aspects, seeks to alleviate these concerns, but the debate will certainly continue. Strategically, the Gen 4 demonstrates that Tesla is preparing for much more than electric cars and rockets. Musk is building a technology ecosystem where energy, transportation, artificial intelligence, and robotics interconnect. This integrated vision could give the company an unprecedented advantage in the global innovation landscape. Therefore, Optimus Gen 4 shouldn't be seen simply as a robot. It represents a new chapter for Tesla and possibly a milestone for the entire industry. If it delivers on its promises, this humanoid has the potential to redefine the way we live, work, and interact with technology on a daily basis. Above all, it is the embodiment of a bold and transformative vision.